so i'm just gonna be telling you guys what is better personally my opinion so uh, yeah okay we're gonna start off with fish trap actually having them both on the screen right now okay we got fish trap over here and then we got block trap over here you know this one just has a different option launch roblox studio this one's having having an issue you know what i mean but what i want to actually look at is configure settings okay now as i said we're gonna start with fish trap we're gonna come back to block trap let's close that up for now so for fish trap it's looking the same as block trap but they have a lot more options okay you know what i mean so if someone leaves or joins the server it'll tell you in the little corner right and this is the same as like block trap this is a really good feature that they have different than flipping block trap deployment this is all different stuff you know like you know roblox upgrades force restart roblox reinstall you know what i mean automatic update fish trap my, my my personal favorite is if we go down to fast flags now when you go to fast flags and you scroll down this is what i like disable roblox telemetry and like you have all of these performance options okay user and layout it has the same type of like feeling as block shop but it just has a few small more options and this one's my favorite right here roblox menu now roblox menu this is like all of the stuff like over here so let's say i didn't want the vr thing being on there I would literally just disable that by just doing this and i'll probably give you a little bit of performance so your like ui doesn't have a lot of bloat if you guys know what that is debug has ping breakdown sends detailed ping information to the roblox console shows values of specific flags during runtime each flag is coming separate okay so flag state okay that is something that block shop don't have and they should add that rendering graphics we were already looking at this this is on block shop also it's the same but it just looks more organized everything more organized on fish trap everything's kind of the same the only thing is different this is not called engine settings they have a few more options on here and same with deployment they have a few more options on here and uh bootstrapper i think the only good option is multi-instant launching okay so this means you can literally run two roblox account at once and you don't need to download like one of those like weird virus softwares if you guys know what i mean but yeah it literally is just you just turn this on join on one account and join on the other account all right guys now we're going to move on to block shop okay now i'm going to be giving my honest opinion on block shop so let's open that bad boy up open this up real quick okay so now as you guys can tell there's no deployment here and there's no fast flags name now for bootstrapper this one is just like a few options you know what i mean like prompts you know you know force reinstall now this was on the other like this was on fish trap also we go to mods it's kind of the same and engine settings it's kind of just like the rendering graphics it doesn't really have the roblox telemetry stuff and it doesn't really have all the other options for your ui one thing i do like about block trap more than fish trap is that i find that it has the it's kind of easier to manage fast likes and i know it is the same but I've just been using block trap for so long, so I'm kind of really used to how everything works on here than fish trap. And everything's the same appearance. I don't really know any like pros and cons really. But yeah, um block trap, I don't really have much to say about block trap. You can probably change your mouse cursor, you know. That's already on fish trap. Everything else is on fish trap already. Fish trap just has more options. So let me just give my overall opinion about everything. You know, overall opinion, I think fish trap is better for performance. The UI is better, things are more organized, it has a few more options performance wise and it also have a few like options as in the multi instant so you can literally join games on like multiple accounts and stuff and for block shop if you guys are using block shop i'm not saying you have to switch but if you guys want a little more performance a little more options you know what i mean you, you feel like your options are not like you feel like you don't have a huge variety of options and stuff then i would like switch to fish trap now you guys do need to remember fish trap is literally just a modern version of block trap it is better overall because personal opinion some of you guys might disagree some of you guys might agree with me but i just think it's better that's gonna actually wrap up today's video i hope you guys do learn something new about fish trap i hope you guys start using it yeah i hope you guys compare we can make a comparison video in the future if you guys want that like versus block shop versus fish, fish trap like fps boost you know what i mean but uh yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video and i'll see you guys in the next one okay peace peace peace